If you suspect that you have a battery drain in your car, I'm going to show you a pretty quick and easy way of diagnosing it and fixing the problem two different ways. One with a simple 99 cent store type of test light, or if you really want to be a little more sophisticated, I'm going to use my multimeter as well, which is going to give me the amperage draw on this battery I suspect that it's getting pulled off of it. So let's take a look, shall we? Now you could do this with the positive terminal of your battery over here, or you could do the test on the negative side. Now you can see on my, my car here that my negative post is right up against here and I have to kind of get in there. It would be very easy for me to create a nice little spark with my multimeter trying to work in this closed environment from this terminal to the ground right here. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to work on my ground terminal, which is located right here. It's a lot easier, a lot safer. So all I have to do is just simply loosen it to the point where I can just simply lift it off like so. That's the noise of my capacitor discharging, by the way, if you were wondering what the heck that was. So I was actually wondering what the heck that was. Now right here is a close-up. This here is the positive terminal, my negative terminal, my negative post right here. Make sure everything is clean so that we can get a good, decent contact. Now, in a car that's sick and it's having the parasitic draw on the battery, what's going to happen is if I take this test light, or $99, test, 99 cent test light, and connect it between the negative terminal and the post on the battery itself and you see a draw you see a light on my on my test light like that that means you got a problem charlie that's not good now that you've seen how you can verify that you have a draw on your battery with a dollar dollar store special test light just by creating a circuit between the negative post and the, the post on your battery whether it be a top post or a side post now as a side note when you're doing this job, verify that your hood is closed, your trunk is closed, the key is out of the ignition, the key is off, of course. Everything that can draw a light, possibly, or draw any amperage and any circuitry in this vehicle, make sure it's off. Accessories, lights, fog lights, doors, hoods, you name it, make sure all that stuff is closed. And if you're still seeing this type of draw, what you need to do next is you need to verify and find out where is this draw coming from. Now, in this section of the video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my my multimeter. I'm going to show you a close-up of my meter. Now this one here is a pretty, you know, basic, cheap kind of meter. I mean, I keep it around the shop. What you want to do is this one here is rated up to 10 amps. So that's the setting you're going to want. You're going to want to have your common on the black and have your 10 amp DC setting, which matches your 10 amp on the uh, on the dial right there. What you're going to do is you're going to go up to your battery and we're going to see what the amperage draw is on this multimeter right now. So let me zoom back in for you. Now, you could do this on the positive or the negative, as I mentioned before. I, I suggest that you do it on the negative just because it's safer. If you ground the ground, I mean, nothing bad could happen. But if you were to create a spark between here and here, bad things could happen. So that's why I recommend doing things this way. But I hope that you listen to me. But you can do whatever you want to do, of course. It's your car. Now, it doesn't really matter which way you go. Just make sure you got a good, clean contact. Now you can see my meter is telling me I got a 0% draw. Now I'm going to go open up some doors and create some extra draw on my, on my battery so that way you can see the difference between a properly functioning vehicle electrical system and a malfunctioning system. When you're testing for an amp draw on your, using your multimeter, just basically take your meter, turn the dial to the 10 amp DC setting because there's usually an AC setting on one side and a DC on the other side. Just for your reference, this here is the icon for alternating current, the AC, which is what you don't want. The curvy line, that's for the DC voltage. That's what you want. You want to set it to the DC side. Basically, your common is on your black in the center. Make sure it's set on the bottom. It'll always reference the amount of amps that this meter is capable of, of pulling, which is 10 amps on this one, 10 amps. Doesn't matter which one of these leads you put on which side of the battery and the other side to the post of the battery. And it's gonna tell you the amperage right there. It'll feel like, if it, say if it was like a 2.4 amp draw, say 2.4, you know, that would be like your example, showing you that's the amount of amperage drawing on your battery with the car key off and you walking away, thinking that your car is performing accurately. Now, if you have some draw on your battery, what you want to do at this point is simply go to your fuse panel on your car, start at the most success, su suspected, start at the most suspected circuitry, start pulling those fuses out one by one. I'm going to show you that right now. 
Now, once you've confirmed that you have a draw on your electrical system, the next thing to do is fix it. How you do that is simply go to your fuse box. Your car may, be, may have more than one. This vehicle actually has two, one in the trunk and one underneath the rear seat. Some cars have them in the driver's panel, the passenger side, under the hood. They can be all over the place. Make sure you, you pull out your owner's manual, technical guide, find out where they are located. Start at the most suspected circuitries and start pulling the fuses out one by one. But while you're doing that, use your use your multi, use your multimeter, either yourself or have a friend keep an eye on this. And so in our instance safe, it has two and a half amps draw, like I said in the previous um, example. The other person will scream, like, hey, it's gone. If you pull that fuses out and the two the two amp drawer is gone, put the fuse back in. It'll show you the two amp fuse come back. You know that's the circuit. So now, say for instance, this one here is your um, your your dome light circuit. You know you need to start checking your door switches. Keep going through one on one by one until you find the one that's causing the trouble. Fix the troublemaker. Go to it. Get rid of it. Replace. Repair whatever is necessary. Put it back in. Go back to your multimeter. Verify everything is working the way it's supposed to. And that's it. You are done.